Oh yeah, man. I don't know this camera. I always gotta work with it, but you know what though? Blessed, blessed be the Lord. Blessed be God. Blessed be the Most High, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. And blessed be all the saints, the servants that follow, that truly follow, that have given up on their old ways of narcissism, sociopath, psychopathy, um, judges, a bunch of false theologies that make no sense. Blessed be those that follow Yahweh all the way. And when I say all the way, I mean they just follow Yahweh no matter what happens, no matter how many times they stumble, they fall, they sin, but they back up, they repent, meaning they know that the spirit within convicts them every single time. I myself as a witness to that, blessed be those that truly, truly have given up on the world, meaning they when they're following God and when they're giving correction and when they're receiving correction there is no competition so when they correct they're not correcting because they think oh let me just jump in no they're doing it because they truly want to correct because thus is the spirit of the living God to correct not the spirit of the living man the spirit of the living man is vain so blessed be to those that know that blessed be to those that don't try to Look at the ways of a man, no, knowing that the heart is deceitful. So don't try to look at the heart of a man and other try to figure him out. But blessed be those that put Yahweh before any and everything that they do. Blessed be those that take up the cross of King Yeshua. And when they didn't know the Christ, they didn't know him, they didn't know who he was, they prayed in the name of Yeshua. Prayed in the name of Yeshua. Prayed to Father Yahweh. And they got the Holy Spirit. Blessed be those that do that. Oh, yes. That when they want to know anything, right, they go to the Father about it. Then they realize they had to go to the Son. So what the Son said was very much true. Whoever the Son frees is free indeed. Blessed be those. Blessed be the servants that do that. In the name of Yeshua. Blessed be those that don't mock and make fun of those with weaknesses. Because God loves and God protects those with weaknesses. Oh, yes. Blessed be those that are always aware of the mistakes they're making. They, even if they're on camera, if they're not on camera, they don't hide the mistakes. They don't hide a lie if they tell it. They don't hide slander if they do it. They don't hide whatever, whatever they may go through. They repent it because they know it's supposed to be repented and they're supposed to be sorry about it. Oh, blessed be those. Yes. And blessed be those families that God's put under a covenant and that no one, no man, no woman, no child, not no one. Can take away the covenant that God has created. Blessed be Father God for that. Blessed be the Christ for dying and rising for that. Blessed be the Spirit for confirming that. Uh, and blessed be those that know there's no man's facts, opinions, theologies, or theories that could ever stop what God does. Blessed be the man that knows you can never stop a miracle of God. You can never stop a baby from being blessed. You can never stop a man, a woman, or a child. From being blessed once God has done it, and then they are sure. And blessed be those that tell the truth, and they say they think that something is not official. They say it, it's not official. Blessed be those that are honest. Yes, blessed be those that know why the truth must be told. Because if Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, then we must tell the truth on all circumstances. Or then we're not touching, then we're not living the truth. And blessed be those that know we're all still just flesh. And blessed be those that come to the church because they're coming for the blessings that they're receiving. Not to nitpick, not to mock, not to compete. Incorrect. And blessed be those that stay away from the channels that they don't like. Because in the name of Yeshua, if you go somewhere and you don't like it, why would you go into it? So blessed be those that come and when they continue to come, blessed be those that continue to get blessed. Even when, when they give they give correction and everything else, they're still getting blessed. That's why they continue to go where they go. So blessed be the ministries that are always blessing others. And they're always blessing others only because of God. Because before you can have ministry, you have to have God who showed you, who breathed the ministry right unto you in the name of Yeshua. In the name of Yeshua. Blessed be those that continue in the ministry.
because the Father God told him to do that. Despite what he said, despite what she said, despite those that continue on as underdogs. But every time, every time God's hand is on something, there's always oh this and oh that, oh this and oh that. But they cannot stop that servant. Blessed be that servant, but blessed be that God even more. Which is Yahweh, which is over that servant and blessed for taking up the cross and not never giving up. And blessed be those that know that they're not a victim. And blessed be those that when someone tries to make them into a victim, they let them know, oh, I'm a victor, brother. I'm a victor, sister. I'm a victor, church. But you can be blessed to become a victor just like I am because most of the time, blessed be those that can see God give a spiritual eye to see that when someone talks and talks and talks and talks, it's only a reflection of themselves. And if they were to truly receive Christ fully, they would be victors and not victims. They would be servants and not mockers. They would be disciples and not scorners. They be listening to God instead of channels like this or any other channel. In the name of Yeshua. And then they'll be sent. And then they'll be following God first. And blessed be those that do truly what's on the spirit. And they follow themselves later. Blessed be those that understand you shouldn't follow your own knowledge. And then follow God. That you should follow God. And blessed be those that know that. Because that's a confirmation of the spirit of what I just said. In the name of Yeshua, and blessed be those that know they can, they can never stop this channel, never stop this ministry, never stop the covenant that God has created, never stop my family, the ones that God has chosen to be blessed, to be blessed under that covenant. And blessed be those that don't respond to, but like myself, praise God, we respond over you, and we respond with the blood of Yeshua. And blessed be those that stay with overwhelming faith in a, in a more faithful, overwhelming God. Thank you in the name of Yeshua. And blessed be those that have overcome attacks. Attack after attack. And blessed be those that have testimonies to tell. And when we tell our testimonies, we have overcome. And blessed be those that have testimonies they can tell themselves. Day, and it can fool someone as if we're still going through it today and it could be of yesterday but at that same time blessed and we ask for the eyes of the listener to be open and to realize that testimonies are only testimonies of God and when you get right with God you start you use your helmet of salvation you don't use your common sense so blessed be those that know that Bless in Yeshua's name, y'all. Glory to Yahweh, amen.